Hey there, Joey here. Today I'm going to compare Anstrex versus Adplexity, and I'm going to do that by trying to find a winning diet campaign for January. We are approaching January, best time of year to run diet campaigns. We're gonna find a native ad, the landing page, the offer, the network, all that stuff, and we're going to use two systems, and we're going to see which one is easier to find the winning diet campaign, okay? If you like these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Like the video, comment, and also, if you have ideas for the next topic of my videos, please, share it in your comments and let's get into my computer. We're gonna compare the two systems and hopefully find a campaign idea to run for diet this year in January or next year, I guess, because we're approaching January. So let's get inside now. Okay, welcome inside. Today is one of those video days that is very difficult. There's a ton of bloopers today. I'm having a hard time getting this video started because there's a lot of people in the house. The dogs are barking. But anyway, let's get into this. This is Adplexity versus Anstrex, two spy tools that show you ads on native ad platforms or push ad platforms and other places around the internet, okay? So today we're gonna try and find a winning diet campaign because we are approaching the best time of year for diet, but of course diet works all year round. So inside Adplexity, I'm gonna be going back and forth to Adplexity and Anstrex, okay? So here's what you would see if you had an Anstrex account and you just logged into the native platform, you would also have the ability to switch between push and native. On Adplexity, you're, you're paying for each platform. So this is the native ads platform. If I wanted to see push ads, I'd have to pay also for the push ads, okay? So there are features of both that are really good and some better on, on Adplexity, some better on Anstrex. So I'm gonna try and, and do that right now and show you what I like about each platform. So what I really like about Adplexity is the fact that I can sort easily here um, and, and it's, it's all right here. But it's kind of the same also on Anstrex where I can see how the, the amount of days these ads have been running. So if I want to sort by, by the amount of days running, which is one of the biggest filters that you need because you wanna see ads that have been running a long time, okay? Next, we wanna find a network that maybe perhaps we're already working with as an affiliate because um, I'm doing this as an affiliate, so I wanna find something that is working for affiliates. So one of the biggest um, affiliate networks, obviously, is ClickBank. We'll, we'll compare ClickBank today just to make this video quick, but there's a whole bunch of different networks here. But here's another thing, on, and on Adplexity, they don't have as many affiliate networks as you would see over here on Anstrex, okay? They have a, a lot more affiliate networks that you can compare. So if you filter out by um, affiliate network, you're going to start seeing the exact ads that people are running from that network. So you know their affiliates and you can see exactly what is being ran here, okay? Um, so that's just um, one advantage on Anstrex versus Adplexity. So let's choose ClickBank here because let's find an, a winning ClickBank offer that we could perhaps run and I'll show you how to do that. So click on ClickBank here and in Anstrex, I can do the exact same thing here by selecting ClickBank, okay? Now, the next thing we need to consider is that there are a ton of traffic sources out there. So the first filter we just did is only filtering what affiliate network is being um, promoted here. There's also a ton of ad networks here. So wherever you're getting your traffic, you can perhaps sort by the exact traffic source that you're, you're choosing here. So you can see there's a ton of Taboola ads here. There's Outbrain. Pretty much all of the mainstream traffic sources are on here on Anstrex. Now on Adplexity, there aren't as many traffic sources as you can see here. Um, there's only less than a dozen on, an, on Adplexity. So that is one other advantage for Anstrax. Now, next thing I wanna do is I want to filter the obvious uh, ads that are doing well. So what I'll do first is I will filter for the last, uh, we'll say 14 days. So the I want, ads that have been running 14 days. I can do that here by moving this up to 14. This one I like because you can actually do a date range on Adplexity. So I can actually select for the last 30 days. I also want last 30 days ads that have been running for 14 days. So now you can see it's filtered out more ad options. On here, I can't do that date range, okay? I can only do 
the amount of days it's been running. So this is um, this is actually important to me. I, I find I, I don't I don't really like that that you can't really see because you can see I've only got ads from November, October, um, and I can sort here the date last seen descending. And you'll see that it has October to December. So December 4th, is, it's good. It's showing me the most recent ads, but the date range I can't really choose. So one win for Adplexity here. Now another win for Adplexity here that I really like is the fact that I can sort by received most traffic. So I can see immediately what ads are getting the most traffic and these are all clickbank offers by the way so if you're a clickbank affiliate it's very easy to see what people are running right now okay and that is another win for adplexity is all of the information is right here on this page if i was to come into anstrex i can't filter by the most amount of traffic and i can only see these numbers here ad strength and gravity which i, I i'm not going to really say i trust too much um, I, I don't understand the, the algorithm, so I can't really say I trust it, but maybe it's working really well and maybe their, uh, you know, their gravity and their ad strength is effective. But to me, I like to see the amount of hits it's had in the last 14 days. And with Adplexity, I can see that right here, 5,000 hits, 27 days, six devices. I could see all that just by hovering over the ad. So there's, um, it, it's a lot faster to work on Adplexity to find these offers. So the next thing I want to do is I want to filter by diet. I want to see ads or um, landing pages about diet. So on Adplexity, I can actually choose if I want to see what's on the landing page or on the ad info. I can also filter by images, advertiser, publisher, placements, all of that stuff using this query bar. On Anstrex, it's a little more, um, I guess, cumbersome. You have to come in here, you click on search, but watch what happens when I hit a new search here and I search diet. It's going to reset all of my other previous stuff. Now I'm back to one day, took away my network, everything, so now I have to start over, okay? I don't like that, it's a glitch, I think, in Anstrex. They shouldn't have it like that, okay? on on Adplexity, we have the ability to just type in diet. It's going to keep all of my other filters in place here, and then it's gonna just filter out ads about diet. Or on, on the landing page, if I reset this in the ad info, it'll show me ads that talk about diet. So another big win for Adplexity, because this um, obviously helps keep things in order a lot easier. So you can see now, um, the amount of diet ads has dwindled really a lot here. Um, that, something that's been running 14 days in the last 30 days. But you can see the keto diet plan seems to be the winner here. Um, we also have keto. Yeah, so it's pretty much the keto diet plan. And if I select landing page here, maybe I'll get more options. This is um, why I would suggest using the landing page filter because you're going to get more options because a lot of people aren't putting diet into their ad text or their ad headline because a lot of the strategies here are to keep the ads a little vague to spark interest. So if you say this is the best diet ever, people that aren't interested in diet aren't going to click the ad. They already know what it's about. So you can see a lot of these headlines are not related to diet it's trying to get people to click on the actual offer okay so next on anstrex if i was to search diet like i said it kind of resets all the filters i don't like that so now i have to kind of reset all my filters i have to choose the affiliate network again and it's kind of a pain in the butt but what can you do i guess you're still getting the same information pretty much you're getting a little more information here but again, I have to do all of this. So affiliate network, ClickBank, days running, um, 18. And then also this is another thing I don't like about ad, uh, Anstrex is I can't reset this back without resetting the whole thing again, right? So I can't go back to 14 like I can on here where I can just move it back and forth and kind of choose what I want to choose here. So... Aside from the pricing, obviously Anstrex is a lot cheaper, um, but I think with Adplexity it's a lot easier to use and you're getting a lot more information right on the front. So let's go into now, let's just assume I've picked the, the offer. Let's see if we can find one 
that is going to work here. So this one here, the custom keto diet plan. Let's just choose that. So on Adplexity, if I come in here, I can start looking at all of the data. It's gonna take a second to load up. And you can see that this affiliate, um, assuming it's an affiliate, is running in all of these countries. So you can easily see all of the countries that are running. You can scroll down, you have all of the data on one page. So it makes it much easier to filter through. You can see the device types they're targeting the days of the week they're running, the trends of their ads. Um, you can see maybe they paused here and then they started up for another test and then they made some changes and then they started up again and now they're running consistently since November 23rd. And so this is good information to have. You can see all of their publishers by duration, the placement IDs all on one page. Again, a super win for Adplexity here because it's all on one page. Plus I can just look at the landing page I can see which one's been running the longest by the amount of days running, and I can select this one which, been, which has been running for 15 days. If I click on it, they're going to filter out uh, my referrer. It's going to show me the landing page, and this is a, an affiliate by the looks of it because it's, it has the hop equals, so that means an affiliate is direct linking to this offer, and it appears that it's working for them. So maybe this is an idea for a diet campaign is running a compliant custom keto diet ad on some of the ad platforms out there. And you can actually start to filter and look at what ad platforms simply by looking in here as to what platform they're actually using. Okay, so this one is Rev Content. So very easy to do. On Anstrex, however, um, here's what I get for results on the last 18 days. Kind of hard to see any other ads. I can't filter by landing page versus ad. I'm sure I could if I went into the depths of their search function, but it's just a little harder to find. Now let's just click on this as an example to see what I would see, okay? Um, so I'm not getting all of the other data on the one pager that we wanted to see from Adplexity. I'm sure I can go into these little tabs here and find that right here. I can click on stats and I can see they have pretty much the same info. Um, so it's not a, a big um, win for Adplexity considering that you can still get that info here. You can see the creatives um, that this advertiser is also running. So you can see all of their similar ads. Now you can also do that on Adplexity as well um, by searching by advertiser once you find them. Um, so, but again, you can do that on both platforms. Um, coming up again, you can look at where they're running the ads. So you can see these are the places that are getting the most traffic. So here's a win for ad um, Anstrex because it's showing you the percentage of the traffic that they think um, this affiliate is running on. So navbug.com, you can see the publisher as well as the traffic source, okay? And uh, all of the traffic sources really are right here in these little uh, boxes. And then if you pl click on the button, I'm sure you're going to get a lot more information, the exact um, advertisers and where they're actually placing their ads. So good information. You can actually take this information and move on to Google Display Network if you're running compliant and say, hey, look, I want to run my ad on this advertiser or on this website. You can actually just run your ads on Google Display Network to these platforms and probably <laughs> make some serious cash um, if you find some good placements. So really both platforms have a lot of information. I'm going to say if I had to choose a winner between Adplexity and Anstrex, it would be a very tough one to choose because really both have um, the ability to do the same amount of information. Um, just I like the filtering better on Adplexity because of all of the ease of use and it doesn't reset your searches every time you do a search and you can still look at all of the placements, all of the publishers, everything inside Adplexity. While you're paying more on Adplexity, um, I think the ease of use is worth the additional price. But if you're on a, on a budget and you want the exact same amount of information and if not more, you can still use the Anstrex listings here and, and use that. So I, I'm using both, really. I think they're both good tools. Hard to say which one is better, but uh, if you want discounts on either of them, please use the links in my description. I have a great discount link right uh, below for, uh, for both of these platforms. So make sure you check those out if you want to use them. Support my channel. Uh, yes, of course, I'm an affiliate for both of these, but this is an honest review. Very easy to find diet campaigns that are going to work in January. And quite frankly, I think I might have to try one of these myself. 
um, moving forward. So hopefully that's enough information. If you have any more questions, you want to see some more videos like this, or you want to dig further, let me know in the comments and we'll talk to you in the next videos next week. See you later. Check out the bloopers too. Hey there, Joey here. Today I'm going to com Hey there, Joey here. So why not compare by, uh, there's never a better time to run diet. Uh, Hey there, Joey from Day Job. Hey there, Joey here. Today we're going to compare and str Hey there, Joey from Day Job. Whoa. <laughs> what is that?